Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. We have two days and one hour left on the tournament and we are currently ranked 26. And the goal is simple. I want to be ranked 25. So in this episode, we're going to do everything we can in order to keep gaining points. And uh, let's see how it goes. Oh my God, there she comes. The queen. Am I picking more eggs? I guess I'm picking more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get like, just get like four, four, I reckon. Uh, our I'm... defender is mega, right? I'm sure we have enough yeah, eggs, yeah. right? So wait, now I should get the thingy and are we all ready? Yeah, make sure you use the eggs three. like one yeah, by yeah. one on the... Like, you so use I just use it and, and you guys back. spam, right? You all ready? I'm clicking yeah. it, let's go. Easy. It's granite body, right? I'm not trolling. Yeah, granite body, granite body, yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, no more BA for a while, the diary is completed. Let's go back to gauntlet, I think. We've been doing a lot of CAs, which means that if I speak to Gomal, I should be able to talk about the combat achievements, completing another tier, and we should now get a pretty big XP lamp, I think. We now have Gomal Hilt number three. We used the lamp on... I mean, I don't know how smart it is to keep using it on runecrafting because I don't think I'll be maxing. So maybe it would make sense to use it on like prayer or something. But let's just keep going on runecrafting. We still have two days left at the end of the day. 150k XP gives me one level. We'll take it. And we have a slightly better hilt right now. My first goal is to complete 10 out of 10 tasks over here on the crystalline Hunlef. I get points for just getting the kills, but I also need to complete it five times. Not take any damage off prayer. 20 KC. Okay, so I can never attack wrong, never take damage. Basically, everything needs to be perfect. Perfect. So I have 20 kills to do a perfect kill. I think we can make this work. But before we continue, I will very quickly talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Dwarven Realms. Dwarven Realms is currently in a very early access. This game is created by a tiny indie dev studio consisting of four people. I have personally played the game for the first time around four months ago. And the change that the game has seen since I first played it up until now where I tested it out again, I was so pleasantly surprised when I jumped into the game. But to very quickly explain to you what the game is about, you're starting as a level zero, you have no armor, no weapons. The whole idea of the game is you're clearing the ruptures, you're killing the mobs, you're upgrading your gear, you're crafting better gear, you're upgrading your stats and you have a giant skill tree that you can fulfill. The game pretty much combines the classic ARPG systems that are inspired by Path of Exile and Diablo 2, but to top it all off you're looking at a massive mob density game similar to vampire survival games. I know for a fact the developers are super committed to regular updates and they actively work with the community, so honestly it's super cool sponsor to have on the channel. I would genuinely recommend you guys to give the game a shot. It's currently only 10 bucks on Steam, I think that's a great price. And there is no better way to just try the game out than the Season Zero that is launching on the Friday, August the 2nd. I will personally be jumping into the game right after Deadman Mode as well because I genuinely really enjoy it. And I think if you give the game a shot, you will enjoy it as well. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about Dwarven Realms, I will also be leaving the links to their social in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Support the small indie dev studio and let's jump back into Deadman Mode. Okay, let's try to do a kill where I don't do anything wrong. I hope it starts off with a range hit always. Basically, I can never get hit. I always need to pray right. Let's... Uh, I can't get stomped though. There we go. So that's a swap. And I need to not hit it with the wrong weapon either. There we go. I think it's perfect. I don't think I did any mistakes. E 3, 2, 1. Did I do something? Ooh, apparently I got hit by Tornado. Rip. But it was pretty simple. If I lock in, it should be fine. Ooh, Elite, hold up. It might be worth for me to just go ahead and do elites as I get them, because they are very rare. Sherlock elite. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this. How do I do that? I have the quest done. Alright, let's get a light orb, I guess. What the hell? don't have a quest done. Oh, what quest is it? We're gonna do the quest. It, it has to be done, bro. Death to the Dorgation. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, why am I getting hit right now? What was that sound effect? I was getting a sound effect like I was getting hit. What? I'm fine. I got scared that I'm getting hit in multi. Death to the Lorgation is now completed. And now I made it through to the city. And now I should be hopefully able to complete the quest. Oh, I think this is what I needed. Cave Goblin Wire. Use that on this. And now it's Light Orb. Perfect. All right, here we go. What do we get from an elite clue? I did the whole ass quest for this. Good luck us. Yup, it's a usual elite clue. No master, unfortunately, with very bad drop. Oi, oi, oi. No! 
Oh, on the last one I fucked it. On Oh, that is disaster. Literally on the very last hit I messed it up. Oh, that's painful. Okay, definitely did some mistakes there, so that's not gonna be a perfect kill, but that will be five kill though, so we'll take it. And yeah, the loot is kinda ass, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, it's not gonna be perfect, is it? I think I did one attack of prey. Oh, never mind, I didn't. Perfect crystalline hunlef. Nice. I'm happy to have this done uh, because now I can do this much more brainlessly. Like I don't need to actually think what I'm gonna do. And as soon as I reach 20 KC, we can move on and we get bonus points for completing every single CA. So right now I'm just gonna do super fast kills and not really worry about like taking damage and stuff like that because I have good sigils that allow me to do stuff very easily. Nice. I'm happy to have this done. <laughs> as if I just did this one HP kill. That's kind of funny. I thought I should have been dead like seven times. The loot is not gonna be great, but we need to kill 11 more. Ooh, another elite crew scroll. That is perfect. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. Mystic row bottom, rune kite shield, bob shirt. I am having a feeling there is no way I'm getting a bob shirt, huh? I'll just try to put an offer in for all the possible bob shirts that exist in the game and uh, we'll see if something buys. Yeah, looks like we got a bob shirt for 19k actually. Uh, let's go ahead and try and complete this clue. Nice, you love to see it instantly casket. Let's see if this one gives us a master clue that would be nice points or any good rewards in general. All right, here we go. Best of luck. We got a musketeer pants, I guess. 100 battle staffs is actually a lot of money. That's like 800k right there. All right, there we go. First corrupted gauntlet completed as well. Defense doesn't matter. Is this guy gonna PK? I don't think so. Thought we would get something else, but I guess I maybe did a couple of mistakes, but we're up to 137 points. Uh, and we also have a corrupted uh, gauntlet cape, so very cool. We're gonna keep working on as many combat achievements as we can complete here. Okay, this should be quite a lot of tasks, actually. One of them is to not bring a potion in, and one of them is to make a perfect... Yeah, so 3 to 1 mage. Oh, I never actually got hit of prey. Wow. On top of that, I didn't bring the potion in and I made the best possible gear again, making a ton of points with this task. And we can still get good loot here on top of that. Uh, no. Ooh, dragon arrows are actually pretty useful, not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, solid loot. Most importantly, getting those points through combat achievements right now. All right, try to go for a speed run and the perfect kill, but. Ooh, wait, I got speed chaser and speed runner. Never mind, I did it. I did it. Beautiful. So I got the Grandmaster tasks almost instantly. Lots of points once again. Very happy I decided to finish this questline, not gonna lie. Ooh, this loot is also insane. Just straight up 100k coins like that. 100k coins, 3 room play legs. And if we were to quickly look at our combat achievements, all of a sudden, I've already completed 6 out of 11. And I need to get 5kc. 10kc and then a perfect kill. I still need to get perfect kill. I'm not gonna do 50kc though, I don't think. And getting a kill with one attuned weapon should be doable. So I can do everything but the 50kc one. Not like this. Uh, slightly tilted. I think it is time for me to just take a small break. I've been, uh, let's just say, doing things for a few hours too many. I think that that would be the best way to put it. I'll definitely return to this once I wake up, but at this point I've been up for honestly like 24 hours plus and uh, my brain does not comprehend it anymore. So uh, we're gonna do a little bit of skilling. We have to do a bunch of skilling. I think uh, it's smithing time, honestly. I have all the ores I need to finish 99 smithing. Here's 94 and obviously trying to push this agility level at the same time. I'm not getting many points for getting this one level, but if I get it all the way to 99, that's where the points come in. 95 agility and smithing sinking together beautifully. If you're wondering why is this dude doing all of this without any food in the inventory? Well, simply put, I'm using guardian angels. So even if I were to die, I don't lose anything. I lose what? Dehyde and Nezi, like that's like 100k. I don't really care about that. It looks like I'm approximately one hour and a half, maybe two hours away from 99. Just one more level to go. Here's 98. Hopefully I don't get PK'd in the last level. I am tired. I need sleep, but I will make more bars instead. Huh. There's a guy and I'm about to get 99. There's the 99. Beautiful. We got smithing out of the way. The guy is here, how about we just respectfully dip? Nice, okay, another 99. 
this one gave me let's take a look yeah basically 300 points was it worth it uh maybe i don't really know but on to new things i guess one of the next 99s that should be pretty easy is cooking here's level 80 cooking and obviously no points for this one but i could in theory cook this extremely fast if i wanted to i think i'll do a nice balance of cooking them fast and then uh, afking sometimes when i feel like it as well I'm actually going to do something that's probably not the smartest. I don't want to make fires all the time, so I'm gonna come here and just risk my account. I mean, I have Guardian Angel up, so if I die, it is what it is. I have nothing in my inventory. I just feel like nobody is gonna show up, you know what I mean? Basically, if I do it here, it should be quite a little bit easier to actually cook. And I will be changing this into a resizable to make it even nicer. There we go. And now it's gonna be much easier to train a lot more efficiently and I'll just grind this cooking through now. I managed to buy a decent amount of darts and instead of me just sitting on the grand exchange and doing the darts, I might as well start working on 99 attack and defense whilst also fletching super AFK. Well, huh, never mind, it's not AFK because like I'm clicking but uh, no threat whatsoever and I'm still getting that combat XP. I originally thought I would get all my combat up through bosses, but the reality of the situation is most of the bosses I still have available are actually all instanced. So aside from something like DKs, which I only probably plan on doing the minimal amount of, I don't really have that many bosses that can be done that would also give me experience at the same time. If you're enjoying the episode, make sure to subscribe. Alright, I have to stop procrastinating this one, Hespori speed kill. I haven't really done it in the last few days. We're going with formidable consistency swashbuckler and the scythe. And we're just gonna have to see how it goes, basically. One more. I don't know if it's gonna do it or... No, two seconds too slow. I did one hit too many, I guess. No, okay, tomorrow. We'll have to do it again tomorrow. Oh, that's so annoying. I did basically one hit too much in between. All right, well, we'll have another chance tomorrow. All right, we woke up and we need to grind out 4,000 points to be back in the top 25. And we will start it off with this 99 attack. Let's work on defense and I'm permanently fletching as well. There's 96 defense and 98 fletching. I am completely out of dragon dart tips though. And there it is, 99 range decided to come chinning. And uh, let's do the next 99s now. Come on, three HP. That has to be it. It has to be, it has to be, it has to be. Yes, we've done it. Hespori completed. We're back on Vorkaf, I need 18 more KC. This is the last Vorkaf kill of this tournament. Let's see how many points we get for all the combat achievements. Ooh, that was worth it. 700 points. Nice. Let's keep pushing. It is time to do some DKs in a very risky gear, but there's only one day left on the tournament, so I'm okay risking everything. We're going in Tebow, Scythe, and Shadow. Let's see how it goes. There we go. First skill in. And I got the Dragon X as well, I guess. And that's a bunch more points as well. Oh, we're printing. That's another one. Death to the Warrior King. Okay, and that is Death to the Archer King as well. That should do it as well. Easy. That is from one king to another. Oh, and we land on a seer's ring as well, which is uh, pretty useful actually. Yes, that'll do it. And now I just need to hit here. Oh, oh, two zeros. But the last one should be easier. Man, wait, that did it? I thought I fucked up. Okay, well, perfect. I've done every single possible CA. And now I just get 25 KC each, I get extra bonus points, and we walk away with 1 for 1.5. I need 2000 points to be in the top 25 at the moment. That is Dagonov Supreme Champion completed, alongside a little circle if we happen to get an elite clue step in the next day. That is Dagonov Prime Champion as well. And that's Dagonov Rex Champion. Let's get 15 more kills of each and then move on to something else. Hmm, there's a warrior ring, that's uh, not really what we want to see. The rings are holding pretty good value, but I mean, there's one day left on the tournament, so really the only useful rings are Sears rings. I just checked the market and the last one sold for 30 million. I mean, I get it, it's the last days, but like, that is a bit a lot. And I have two of them, I'm literally risking them. 
Okay, no, that last one. Okay, maybe I need to slow sell it. That's crazy though. Spending a lot of my money to make this gilded altar. I do have the bones and we can finish 99, well, after DKs. I don't think it matters what burners you put though. Okay, we're good. I'm in blazers now for the final, so I think they're off me. I might be the luckiest person in the world, not gonna lie. Oofed. Okay. Oh man, I'm so close to... 25k C each, but ev like PKers are there now, so that sucks. I need to do something else, I think. It's fine, 142,000 points is good, and I can always return, so it's not bad. This one's been a long time coming, but I needed to relax a little bit from, you know, being attacked or being scouted, whatever you want to call it. Here's level 99 fletching. Okay, I do think I have my last recall set in the DKs. People are logging on now. Morning's kind of disappearing on me, but I do want to return to DKs just to finish all the combat achievements. And there is 25 kills of Dagonoff, what, Supreme? That's gonna be a bunch of points there. I'm a little bit behind in Prime and Dregs, though. <laughs> Another Dragon X, I think that's number 5. 674 into 859. Yeah, so definitely worth doing those extra tasks. And uh, Rex will be done in 18 seconds. Going from 143.9, 143.1, beautiful. And with that, I now have all the DKs fully completed. However, I plan on staying here either until I get 75 KC on all of the bosses or until I get caught by PKers because this place is very decent points. Each one of these gives me 15, the whole rotation gives me 45 points and all in all, I think that's very worth it. Oh, we have a little PK situation here. Okay, well. Wait, they're trash! <laughs> the fuck are they doing? They, they didn't even click over the wall. Yo, in and out situation, you know how it is. We're not going back to DKs right now. We're gonna happily live with 144,000 points. Let's find something else to do. Maybe it is time to finish 99 prayer. Let's take a look if doing all the work have paid off. Swap left click to use and XP per hour on screen. Let's go. I also banked some of the Dagonov bones and we are probably just gonna push all the way to 99. I think it's gonna be worth it looking at the XP per hour. I don't have only superior bones. I have regular ones as well. I can just do this and this. It's not the most efficient layout, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Downgrading to Dagon of Bones, we're now 94 prayer and uh, 125 combat. And I have to change the way my screen looks. It makes the prayer training much simpler. Here is 95 prayer and because I only have regular dragon bones left, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the timer to see how much XP per hour we get with regular D bones. From 95 to 96, I was able to average nearly 9 mil XP per hour with regular D bones, which is sick. We got 3 more levels to go, I do think I have enough bones to finish it. There's 98 and just 1 more level to go, let's get it done. It is done, there it is, 99 prayer also obtained on the account going up to 144.5. Decent points, I think we need to lock in and do some diaries for even more points now though. Decision has been made as to what I'm gonna do next. I was looking at the Ardun diaries and honestly I just need to lock in and start doing all this diaries there is i think less than one day left on deadman mode at this point no one day and three hours and we're gonna lock in we got the stats we just need to do the tasks now first stat i actually need is in order for me to do this one catch a manta ray uh, and cook it in port Cazard with 91 cooking requirement i need to get to 86 cooking and then i can plus five boosted so let's get three cooking levels quickly all right we're cooking and there is reese here as well so Hopefully he doesn't jump us. I mean, he is just as naked as I am. So I guess we'll be alright for like 10 more minutes. If I were to do this perfectly for, I think, an entire hour, I could get 99 cooking as well. But here's 86. I'm kind of in the mood to keep cooking a little bit longer because I do think this should be a 99 I should honestly get. Because it's between 1 and 2 hour process and it should be like decent points, we'll see. Here's level 90 cooking, I'm balancing out around 7.4 mil XP an hour, a little bit of active, a little bit of AFK, just like a nice balance. I am pleasantly surprised because I am not dead. Here's level 99 cooking. Once again, let me put this to fixed. 1 hour and a half session, I'd say, to get this one done. And let's take a look, 144, basically 145,000 points. I need to get this to 148,000 to be in the top 25. So, oh man, so many things to do, so little time.
Let's keep going. I feel like I can just fl one tick flick and not care. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay, so surely. Bam. Easy. I did it. Nice. Actually, would a nightmare staff go for anything? Hmm. Ooh. Vo imagine getting volley. Like original. <laughs> I mean the, the I mean the the corrupt version's like the exact same. It's so weird. I don't know why they did that. What? Are, oh really? Is it like? Yeah, like the stats and everything, like all the same. Like I don't know why. Oh really? So it's not yeah. even nerfed. Oh thank fuck, this is completed. Okay, so where are we at right now? One hundred forty-five thousand. Nice, you got it. Where well, did it? Oh, yeah, yeah. let's go, dude. Oh my god. Yo, thanks by the way. Oh okay. How many points was that? Oh, 400, nice. Oh my god, I was stressful. I hate this place. Oh, I didn't change any of my sigils, but I think they're fine, huh? Titanium... <laughs> oh no, Feral Fighter, I need to. I mean, Feral Fighter would be nice, yeah. Wait, I'll change it, I'll change it. I'll do one more kill, though. Yeah, nice. Ready to bounce, perfect. So now I've basically done every combat achievement. Now I just need 25 KC, and we are done with this boss as well. Maybe I need to finish Romeo and Juliet as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of quest points. Hmm. It's like 150 points for Romeo and Juliet, you know? Yeah, that's like my uh, Hail Mary last thing. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, in order to get to 25, I'm gonna do Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> 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 oh my god, man. And beautiful. 98 defense, but that's not everything because we've just killed 25 Sarachnis, and that is all the combat achievements done as well. Giving us a bunch of points, 146,200. Let's get out of here for now, work on some diaries. And uh, I'm sure if I feel like it, I might come back here for 99 defense because the points are not that bad, actually. Finally getting around to doing diaries. This should be the point injection we need in order to not lose. There's a guy there. We're going to let him cook, no problem. But we came here for a red salamander. And that's red salamander cut. And that is hard diaries completed. And there is more points for us. Beautiful. I am now very close to rank 25. Let's keep grinding. All right, our Dune Diary is hard completed for now. I'm leaving Elites till later. I just want to do a lot of other tasks first. I do have XP Lamp right now, and I need to be a bit smart as to how I'm going to use this. I don't think I'll get 99 Agility by itself, but if I put XP Lamps on it and I use the Sigil of Leith, I think I can make it happen. So... I don't care about other XP anymore, I don't care about other 99s, so every single XP lamp goes to agility from now on. Here's 150k. Okay, just, we see Manta Ray right now and we're happy, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, let's go, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hey, Elite Diary, easy money. Did a little bit of NMZ, I'd say around, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, probably like 20 minutes worth of NMZ, and we utilized the Web Weaver with a lot of precision. So Android meticulousness revoked limitation for that one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Salve Amulet, which I can unimbue. And what I'm trying to do right now is we're actually finishing our Dune Diaries, and all I gotta do is I need to imbue the Salve Amulet. Now, the points before the imbue, 147.6, and let's see where we get to. This could be a ton of points, actually. Ooh, was that 400 exactly? Beautiful, we're now in 148,000 points and we can go claim a big XP lamp and put it on agility. All right, then let's cough up the XP lamp. There's an elite cape, elite diary, rubbed agility. Bam, 500,000 XP, we're about to be 97. Will we be able to get this to 99? That is the question right now. I guess we'll have to wait and see. More diaries to come. I'm just spamming whatever I can do. As you can see, I'm doing elites before I do anything else because that's how we get our points. I do think we might be doing a TOB entry mode run pretty soon to get a bunch more points. So I guess let's go complete that quickly. Nice. There should be some tasks, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. More points. Is there anything else on this? Crystal kill, right? But we uh, the, the salve. Oh, yeah. Salve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They won't expect this easy. But yeah, the way it's going, surely we do it under 20 minutes. Like, So that should be the... Yeah, there we go. That should be... Everyone using Salve Amulet also done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And boom. I think that does it. it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. We can clear yeah, now. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just clear it out. Beautiful. I am so tired, I can barely see red. Oh, no. You know when your eyes, like, don't function no more? Yeah, no, I had that. I had that, like... Oh, yeah, I will need to go sleep, by the way. I cannot yeah, even, no, yeah, good. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, just sleep, sleep after this. Hey, there, there it is. Just be safe. 
Dude, I just see points going up from all these tasks. But I just click <laughs> refresh and now it's like 400 over. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Imagine in the end, like I will look in the scoreboard and I'll see I'm like 80 points behind the rank oh, 25. No. Oh. Jeez, jeez. Nice, another one. E even more points. It's so fucking free. That is stupid. <laughs> I'll be left if that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go, here we go. Little bounce. Boom. Boom. Perfect. And now we can kill it, right? And now we do the refresh. Wait. Oh. Did we, not get it? we did, we did. So oh. many points. I clicked refresh and I see almost 150,000 points. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. And then I look at the thing and all of a sudden it looks like I can get like rank 15 even. That's crazy. Okay, so I lose Ancestral Head, Bando's Chestplate, Bando's God Sword, Archering Toxic Blowpipe, and the melee if we die. So, good, let's not die. I mean, I could still do Colosseum. <laughs> but I think I need to sleep first. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that one with no sleep, brother. I feel like I could just be hitting and healing through that time, to be honest. N no, no. No. Why not? Because you'll get fucked by the shadow. But are we getting any other CAs with it, or...? Uh, yeah, we will. We'll get, like, Juronax and a few others. I want to see the points before and after, though. 149.8 into... 150.5! 700 points, just like that. Oh my god, look how many tasks that was. Oh my god, yes. With this last push for points, we're now ranked 24 on the leaderboard, which is achieving our goal. However, there is still 20 hours left on the tournament and we are not yet safe. Currently, both Lucky Never and Specialton could overtake us. So we have 20 hours left remaining to grind as many points as we possibly can this Deadman mode in order to preserve our rank. If you want to see if we will maintain the front page rank, feel free to subscribe and come back tomorrow for the last Deadman mode video. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.